Broadcast friends, <laughs> we are at uh, NAB 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh yeah! Wow, what a crazy town! <laughs> can you hear okay? In your head? Yeah, I can hear. Yeah, I'm okay. good. I gotta crank mine up because I'm right. deaf. Right on. From cranking headphones up. There you all go. My life. See, it's a <laughs> uh, we are with Ryan Burke, senior sales manager for Rode Microphones, one of the coolest companies in the world, and they happen to be uh, based in Sydney, Australia. That's right. Thus, the accent. Yes, and thank you so much for having me on the podcast. Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome to America. Exactly, <laughs> man. Yeah, this has been a, a lot of fun. Okay, I love I, I got to ask the geeky questions. How long is that flight? I can't from uh, It's Sydney. like, it's 14 hours from Sydney to LA, and then we, you know, usually do the road trip across the desert, because why not? Oh, is know? that what you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We drove over from LA. and You, you like know, to drive? Of, yeah, yeah. But, you know, road trip and listen to some country music. It was good fun. You're a country guy. Oh, you know, we, we, I, I kind of listen to all sorts of stuff, but, you know, when in Rome, you know, if we're driving across the, the U.S., we're, we're going to be cranking some country tunes. I got to admit, it is pretty cool to drive cross-country. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good I fun. I mean, this yeah. is such a diverse Ah, oh, it's amazing. Diverse yeah, it's country. an amazing place to drive. Yeah. So. so welcome. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be here. And uh, you have some amazing products. First, what are we talking into right now? So we're using the Rode Pod Mic right now. It's the latest addition into our broadcast mic range. And we've released this around the same time as the Rodecaster Pro, which I know that you guys have been I think doing we have some B -roll a lot on the of cool Pro. stuff with. Can we roll the Pro B-roll, Nige? So this is, yeah, this is the Rodecaster Pro. Now this, this is thing an all-in-one. Oh, can I just interrupt Yeah, you? please go for it. The thing is awesome. It's been the talk of this booth. Really? Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah, it's great, man. Yeah. Look, you so know. So explain what it does. Yeah. What we wanted to do with the Roadcaster Pro was to develop an all-in-one, you know, podcasting, uh, even for like radio production console that integrates all of the different pieces of gear that you used to have to have as separate things. So like a four-channel headphone amp, a mixer, a load of DSP, so compression, EQ, DSing, noise gating, all of the stuff that you would need to have a professional sound. We've even got a sample player on the right-hand side there that you can see, so you Great. can play back stings, interviews that have been pre-recorded. We've even integrated uh, three channels that have mixed minuses available. So USB for recording, which you can multi-track record. We've also got a mobile device channel in the middle right next to the USB and the Bluetooth. We, we, and were, we were demoing that with people that were walking by that were just totally enamored with this thing. Yeah. And yeah. they were blown away. I was on my phone, they were over there, and it just sounded like... Wow. Totally. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, whether you're connecting with a cable, with a TRRS cable, or whether you're connecting via Bluetooth, you can have a mix minus on both channels, which means that you're going to, you know, have no echo on your phone calls. It sounds fantastic. And you can even use those channels just to play back music or pre recorded content as well. Yeah. And you've just scratched the surface. What else? Oh, what man. Else like does this, this thing yeah. The, the whole idea with the Roadcaster is to make something that was really intuitive and easy to use, but was also super powerful. So in terms of all of the DSP on board alone, it's even got Aphex processing on board. <laughs> so the classic Oral Exciter and Big Bottom, we've got that on board for the, for the voice channels, for the music channels, for everything. Uh, you can multi-track uh, over USB, and you can record dry tracks if you like, or you can record the tracks that have you know, uh, all of the DSP on the channels. Yeah. Uh, oh. But it's all pre-fade. So if you've made a mistake in the show and maybe you had someone muted that had something funny to say or something, you just go into the into the multi-track edit and you fix it up in post. So you just pack so much stuff in there. It, it's I'm not I'm not just blowing smoke here. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. It's a game changer. There's no one else that has that unit right now yeah. or that has something that does what that thing does. Yeah. No. There's nothing that integrates all of those features into one console. And I mean, that's at Road. What we do with any kind of product like that is we're we're looking at the end user and what what they need to be able to make their their content. So we're always thinking about creators, what they're what they're doing, what are the barriers to being able to get started. And even for us, like we as a microphone manufacturer, we're getting asked all the time, how do we podcast? And you'd look online, and there was so much misinformation yeah. on all of the advice. I mean, you guys would know it more than anybody. You know, having they you know, get calls at BSW all the time. Yeah, like, yeah. And people, ah, how do I do that? Exactly. Oh you know, boy. so we thought, you know, this is such a great opportunity to integrate all of those features into one easy to use console. We don't have complicated settings, it's all very intuitive, and you can get a great sound straight out of the box. You turn up a fader, select your voice type, select your microphone, and start podcasting. Not to give the game away here, but do you guys have a lot of young people like you working it's, at the company? Because this is, I don't think. I don't, I don't. 
I don't think old farts would have come up with something like Man, that. You, you know, know what? what? I, like, like some of the best ideas that we have come directly from, uh, from you know, some of the senior management guys. Is like, that right? You know, Peter oh. Friedman, like he was, he was, uh, he's the owner of Road Microphones. Yeah. He's been doing this uh, since he started Road back in the. So he's still the pretty 90s. hip and knows what's. Oh yeah, man. What, he's like every new product conversation that we have. So That's it's good. a it's a massively diverse team. We've got a lot of young people, especially in our in our content creation team, and they're always involved in the product discussions. Oh. You know, so that we understand you know, the needs of everybody who's actually producing content these days. How many employees do you guys have? We've got about 250. Oh my God, really? Yeah, yeah. So the majority of those are at our factory in Sydney, Australia, but then we've also got, you know, an office in the US where we've got a team here. You know, we've got a couple of offices in in the Asia Pacific region outside of Australia as well. So, yeah. Great. Uh, You know, dumb question, but road, what does it mean? Right, so the the brand is it name a dumb question? Road, it's not a dumb question. Okay, no I can tell you a funny just story. Just stupid answers, yeah. right? Yeah, I'll tell you a funny story about this one. So the, the slash through the O one road, uh, Peter Friedman, who started the brand, his uh, his mother was actually Swedish, so it's kind of a bit of an homage to his uh, Swedish oh, heritage okay. there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But the name Road actually came uh, from the very first microphone that they had uh, was a, a microphone called the NT two. Yeah. And uh, when Rode first started, before Rode Microphone started, it was Friedman Electronics, which was Peter's father's business that did, you know, PA systems, they did live sound, they did all this kind of stuff. Okay. And at one stage, they got this microphone and went out to see if they could sell it, right? The very first microphone, they, they, you know, created the electronics, made this great mic. And uh, we had this, uh, this sales guy who was originally English named Colin Hill. And he said to Peter, uh, he was like an English guy with, you know, all the slang and everything. He said, man, this is going to, you know, sell faster than a rat runs up a drain pipe. <laughs> and so they called it the Rodent One, right, the microphone. Oh, my. And then it became cool. the Rode NT series microphone. So that's literally how it started. Okay, so I'm yeah. glad I asked now. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, it's a a really cool story. story. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> that was the, uh, the origins of the Rode brand name. And nowadays, you know, we've got over 200 products that we're selling. It's a... It's in, in all sorts of different fields, you know, from radio broadcast, podcasting stuff, all the way through to filmmaking, you know, wireless microphone kits, interfaces, yeah. oh, mobile speaking journalism. Of, I guess, did you bring some, is this new? This did is you, brand new. So this is wanna a- pop those, uh, The camera will pick it yeah, up. Yeah, let's see if we can get that on the camera. This is a brand new release for the show. This is called the Rode Wireless Go. Now this is the world's smallest- Oh, you can hold, hold it up a little bit. Bell pack there transmitter go, receiver microphone system. And it's so small, that it only weighs 31 grams for the transmitter and receiver. So feel, I mean, feel the weight of that receiver right there. Isn't that incredible? Can I pop it on? Yeah, you sure can, yeah. So if you, if you turn that on, I'll turn on my transmitter here, and then you'll see as soon as the transmitter's on, now we've got level running straight into the unit, and that's because the transmitter is actually so small and compact that we put a lav mic into the transmitter. And the idea here is that you can clip it straight onto a shirt like this, and start recording an interview with somebody immediately. So you can get that output cable there, pop it into the side of the receiver, onto your camera, or onto a sound bag, and immediately you're recording crystal clear digital audio. There's nothing like this out right now, is there? No, no, there's nothing nothing at this size with this kind of convenience. But if you do want to use it as a traditional pack, there's also a 3.5 mil TRS input so that you can use a standard lav mic it provides plug-in power so that you can pop this on your belt or hide it if it's a creative kind of shoot where you can't see microphones. And it's then the tiniest little bell pack transmitter that you've ever seen. So it's got an inbuilt lithium battery that's going to last for up to seven hours on one charge. comes with two USB-C to A cables so that you can charge them over USB-C. You can power them constantly over USB-C. And uh, it's so easy to use because you turn it on it immediately syncs up and it's a, an adaptive frequency hopping system. So basically what it is is a frequency agile system. So it's constantly scanning the entire frequency band and hopping to the best transmission frequency. So you never have to worry about setting your frequencies. Bitchin'. Yeah. Yeah. And the coolest thing is that these little clips actually double up as shoe mounts. So if you've got a camera that's got a, a, a oh, hot shoe mount on I the top, that. cold shoe mount, you can just slide it straight in there and then it goes onto your camera and it's it's perfect setup. My God, you thought of everything. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> and it comes with this little windshield that you can pop directly onto the transmitter unit like this. Well, there's right? that adorable. So that if you've got it on your shirt and you're in a really high wind environment, you can sort it out. And then you've also got this little pouch that it comes in so that you can put the whole system, like have you ever seen a wireless system that could fully fit inside a pouch like this? No. You could keep a couple of them in one pocket, you know? 
So it's uh, that's great, man. Yeah, that's the latest, you know, from Rode. So we've been we've been busy. We, our, our guys have been working on new products all the time. Now the pod mic that we're listening to right now. Yeah, so can I tell you when we put these on the stand here, these OC white stand? Yeah. These things weigh a ton, and that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean. How much are these? Right, so these are 99 bucks. Okay, so usually in like a $99 microphone, you could just... Totally. You're never going to get a microphone like this for 99 bucks. And the idea with this is that as a, as a kit with the Rodecaster Pro, you can get this whole solution for literally with stands and everything for less than a thousand bucks, and you can be up and running with a professional podcast. This mic is a dynamic capsule so that if you're in a room where it's maybe a little bit noisy, like where we're at yeah. right now, it doesn't pick up too it much of the background really noise. Great. Sounds really nice I'm, and crisp. I'm super impressed with the sound of this microphone. Oh, great, man, yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's sounding nice on this podcast right yeah. now. We've got suspension on the actual swing arm here. So at the bottom of the swing arm and on both sides, so that if you've got taps on the stand, you don't have much coming through into the microphone, so it's nice and isolated. It's got an internal pop shield. You can also use the Rode WS2 on the outside oh, of that as great. well. And uh, yeah, just direct XLR out. It's fantastic. You guys are kicking ass. Thank you very much. It's a uh, it's a it's a big team that's working on all the new products at Rode all the time, and and they're always trying to think of how do we make better solutions for people that want to create really cool content, and that's our whole goal. Well, that product that we just showed over yonder, mm -hmm. Roadcaster. Yeah, there yeah. we go. And there's more to come with the Roadcaster. You know, we've got firmware updates. When we first launched it, it recorded to a stereo track, fully mixed. Now we've got uh, multi-track <laughs> over USB, which was something that everyone was requesting so oh much. Man. We've got all sorts of different updates coming for it in the coming months, so stay tuned. The Roadcaster Pro is only getting better. For everyone who even owns the first one that went out the door, they firmware update it, it just becomes better every time. Great. Uh, Ryan Burke, Senior Sales Manager, Rode Microphones. Now we know what the name means. There you go, <laughs> now you got the story, yeah. <laughs> That's cocktail talk right there. <laughs> there hey, you, you guys go. know what road means? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming all this way. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks booth. so much for having us on the show. Thanks, man. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, is this it? Are we done for today? I think we're done for today. So tomorrow, day three here at uh, NAB 2019 with uh, BSW Television. My name is Mike West, along with my partner, Ryan Burke. <laughs> and uh, thanks, Nigel. Nigel's running all the stuff behind the scenes. Have a great day. Great night. See you, Las Vegas.